Good morning, Arthur. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. <laughs> so, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Now, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us, too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are gonna love it. Okay then, let's go. All right, out through the trees here, then take a left. Whoa! Now. Oh! Yeah. Lady! 
I got lumbago. It's very serious. I thought you wanted to head into town. Yes, but this won't take long. Look at the poor fella. How did you help that poor man? Well, lumbago. It's really serious. It can be deadly. How about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? The fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's office on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're embarrassed. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? Maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one shot kid. <laughs> okay? I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No, ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place, huh? Come on. Morning. So, what do you make? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? They got some nice jerky here. And <laughs> you look like you could use some energy, Arthur. Whole stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. So, you're actually buying for once? You feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. I don't know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Oh, well, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? <clears throat> I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there, New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You, you can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! 
I've been looking too long. I got you now. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Like I said, as far as I know, they're in 2B. No trouble now, please! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! One more. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and... but... Keep investigating. I will. Everything's okay up there? After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Go, cool. get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Give more. Please. Just borrowing it. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up. Come on. <laughs> All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks, 
I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this here old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. Well, you just a toughest tick mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah. Regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. There hey, he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. 
What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean. You found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah. <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles? Go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. We got a long way to go, huh? <laughs> I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Thought I'd... Look out! What in holy hell are you doing, boy? Get that back up again right now! I I'm gonna be 100 years old by the time we get this done. No, 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is.
get out of here. Go on and get the hell out of here. You're gonna be. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. <laughs> I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I got to get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. 